Hello, I'm John Nash Jr. here, choir president and director and founder of the Monterey Peninsula Gospel Community Choir, which started uh, approximately four years ago, um, which branched off from the Monterey Peninsula Gospel Festival. There were, um, was a need that um, was missing in the Monterey area for gospel choir and gospel information. And when speaking with Dr. Peter Silser and um, Lorraine and Janetta Williams, realizing that um, maybe we could bring uh, a form whereby we can express the information needed and, and provide a venue where people can come and learn, experience, and um, perform gospel music, we set out to um, make this happen. And the three of us met and um, we're excited, the energy was very powerful in the room, and um, had the second meeting at my parents' home. And 12 other people came with the same ideals and interests and energy. And from that point, uh, Maori Peninsula Gospel, Gospel Community Choir has registered approximately 80 choir members on our roster. And with that being said, we've been fortunate enough to have our debut at Victory Temple, featuring the um, Japanese voices all the way from Tokyo, Japan, which was huge for our first endeavor. Second year, we did something different. We took gospel downtown to the Golden State Theater, and we presented sopranos, gospel sopranos. And that year, we would um, progress, and we decided we would do something with horns. But every year, we try to do at least two or three presentations and bring something historical to the Monterey Peninsula that people would, would receive education and knowledge about where gospel news started, where we think that it's going, who were some of the major players, and, and um, that is basically my real vision, is to bring another, to, to enlighten people about um, what gospel music is really all about. Uh, we were really excited. Edwin Hawkins came as one of our second um, presenters uh, at CSUMB, and he shared with us, and it was it was awesome. We got to sing with him and hear about the genesis of Oh Happy Day, one of the biggest, or still is the biggest selling gospel single of all times. And then this year, in 2011, we were fortunate to have Richard Smallwood come, another living legend. Richard um, came with a wealth of information. We opened it up to the community and people from far and near came, registered, and CSUMB, California State University of Monterey Bay, opened up the doors and Richard came and he lectured and then he trained and then he taught material and then presented it in the concert at Cyprus, which was just phenomenal. Our mission is to expand and to, once again, educate, um, to create an atmosphere where anyone who wants to come and learn about this art form, about this history, how to perform it, who are the major players, um, historically, um, who are the major players, we hope to provide a Form whereby anyone can come and, and gain that knowledge. We look for support from any and everyone. <laughs> we try to provide free concerts and um, things have gone quite well so far. So continued support and encouragement and um, look to see you on the gospel front. Thanks. <laughs>